Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video, we will see how we can create and delete list using REST API in SharePoint Online. The code or the examples that we will do is on a SharePoint Online site, but if you will use the same code in any on-premises site 2013, 2016 or 2019, the code will work as it is. So I hope uh, if you have not gone through my previous uh, tutorials on REST API, I'll put the links in the video description. Kindly have a look at that. That I have explained how we can work with REST API, what is REST API and all these things. Now let me open uh, the code. Uh, so what I'll do here is we will use a text box where user will enter uh, the uh, list name and then uh, it, it will have a button where the user will click on that and then it will uh, uh, create the list and uh, uh, you you can try this code and then also you can enhance this code I'll tell you how, how you can enhance that as well so let me open uh, the code first of all so what I'll do here I, I'll explain the code here uh, and then um, I'll put the code and then we'll see how it is executing whether it is creating the list or not uh, if you have, uh, if you have not uh, gone through a, a little bit of HTML and JavaScript or jQuery, I'll have a look at that. I have also, I think, a couple of videos on how we can start with HTML and CSS or JavaScript, jQuery like this. So I'll put the links in the video description. So if you'll see here, the first part of this one, what we are doing here is I have taken a uh, input type uh, text box and uh, this is the html uh, code which we can use to create a text box and then i have a button so you can see here input type button and then i have taken an id and then finally i have a div uh, which will actually display the message whether the list is created or not this this the uh, we'll use the div for that now we'll use uh, jquery here so i have given the reference over here in this line you can see here uh, the jquery reference uh, because we'll use the jquery to call um, uh, call this uh, REST API code as well as you can see here um, I have a, a function known as uh, bind button click so in this case what we are doing is uh, to this button I am doing the on click and then we are calling the function here create list and into that create list I am sending the list name here you can see here the list name I am sending and it will actually check the list name and then uh, sorry it will get the list name and then it will send the list name to this function now before doing that so what uh, I have done here is so the, in this function you can see here I have a button click uh, function which, which this code is just to attach the button click event uh, to this particular button where the ID is btn submit list name and then uh, we are getting the list name from from the UI and uh, whatever user will enter and then there is a create, create list method. Now in the create list method, if you'll see here, uh, uh, this is the parameter which is getting the list name and then we are getting the rest endpoint. Now, uh, previous examples, what we did is on the get parameters, but uh, or the get uh, type, here the type is post because we are trying to create something. Now, uh, since we are uh, trying to create a list, so web slash list, now this is the variable that we can get the site URL and uh, then you can see here url and this is our url uh, this is the call that we are doing our uh, ajax call we are calling the rest api and the type we need to understand here this one is that uh, uh, the, 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 the type here we are taking is a post parameter and when we are uh, taking post operation or when you are doing post operation in rest api we have to do some other things compared to uh, whatever we do in uh, in a get operation so first of all, we need the metadata. So this is uh, to convert to JSON. And then you can see here, uh, this is double underscore metadata. And the type, uh, you can see here, sp.list. Now, uh, we are trying to create a list here. So sp.list, if you are trying to uh, interact with the list items, then you can have sp.data. Uh, uh, your list item, uh, your list name item. And then similarly, if you want to, let's say, add uh, into a add fields into a list then we can define the type as sp dot field because but that is also a post operation that you need to do and then the best template so it's a custom list uh, we are trying to create that's the reason we have uh, uh, selected or we have provided the best template as 100 
for libraries it is 101 like this uh, uh, these uh, these templates are available on that i'll put the link in the video description you can see the uh, uh, what is that uh, what is the template id basically uh, for each list and library so if you want to create a task list it will have a different id so this is what you are trying to create and then uh, the title so title is the parameter whatever user is sending here uh, that we have taken the variable and then the header so uh, application json if you want to retrieve uh, in the response in json format and then you can see here content type and then here is quite important x hyphen request digest so this is uh, we need to send this uh, when if you are trying to do any kind of post operation or um, operation which uh, which will actually interact with your content database to modify something so in those cases you required uh, to pass this x hyphen request digest and then this is how you can get the value so that your sharepoint will know that the request came from a valid page so you can see here and now we need to pass this and then success and failure so in the success uh, we have just taken the title and then we are saying that the list created successfully and if there is any error then it will uh, it will send this error now you can enhance little bit of uh, not in fact little bit you can enhance a lot of things on that for example you can check whether the list is already exist or not you can see whether um, if the text box is blank you can see here I'm, I, I have passed everything directly so you can actually uh, check whether user put a title or not and then also you can check whether the list already exists with the same same title or not and then if it is exist then you can probably show the message and if not then you can create it so those kind of modifications that you can do uh, so i'll just copy this code and uh, what we'll do is we will uh, create a same uh, web part page which will use uh, or where you, you will insert uh, the code in a scripted editor web part and then you will execute this you can see here uh, now if you are interested for sharepoint training i have sharepoint training courses i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at this there's 50 plus hours of uh, video uh, courses over here and you can see uh, module by module uh, what are the things are available on this uh, i'll put the link you can have a look at that this is a complete sharepoint development training including your power platform spfx all these things now i'll open my sharepoint site so i will go to that particular page so you can see here uh, i will use this page here this is our text page this is the last example that we did i'll just edit the page and here you can see here let me just delete this and we will add the web part again you can see here i have deleted that it will stop editing you will see a blank page here nothing is there I'll edit the page, uh, add a web part and then I'll select uh, median content and you can see here script editor web part and then click on add and then click on edit snippet and you can paste this code. So once you paste this code you can see here this is the UI how it will render there is a option to enter the list name and then there is a button on that. So I'll click on insert and then I'll click on uh, save this page now remember if you want to use this in a content editor web part then you should uh, create a file html file and js file and then you can refer the js file in the html page and then you can upload into a site asset library or somewhere and then you can uh, use a content editor web part and then you can provide the file url that you can do that i'll put the link how we can use exactly the content editor web part in in sharepoint so you, you will be able to know that now on this what i'll do is i will let's say i will uh, uh, test list from rest api so i'll i'll put this name and then i'll click on submit you can see here now it is saying that the list created uh, uh, successfully uh, you can see here now uh, i will go to the site content page you can see here this is the site content page and uh, if you will look at here uh, the list should be there you can see here test list from rest api this is the list that we got we created and this is a modern um, since in you know, a modern experience is enabled so you'll see this and also um, you can see here the space is coming on that so you can actually take all these enhancements you can do you can remove the space for the name and the title you can pass both the things as well 
now next what we'll do is we will delete a list so when we are deleting a list we'll delete based on uh, um, on the uh, parameter um, uh, as the list title so basically user will provide the list title and then we will delete that so uh, for delete uh, the operation that we are doing is a delete operation so here we saw how we can use the post operation or the post type now in the rest api we will see how we can do the delete operation so here the same thing user will enter the uh, list name or uh, the title you can see here i have taken the same text box and then the button and then we are using the same jquery function button click everything is same we are passing the list name and then we are calling the delete list function now this delete list, list function is what we are uh, we need to understand this so if you'll see here this, we first we need to create the rest endpoint so that the rest endpoint should get our list so in this case if you'll see here this is our web absolute url it will give us the site url then slash api slash web slash list get by title and the list name so whatever user uh, or whatever the list name is coming from this method we are using this and then we are calling uh, the or delete you can see here this is a post operation uh, but you can see here there is the x hyphen http method which is saying that it is a delete operation now uh, other things are same uh, re underscore request digest but one more parameter we use here is if match star now what is this about so this is actually since we are uh, working with uh, uh, the rest endpoint or uh, open data protocol now on this uh, if you will look at then uh, there is a concept known as e tag which actually we can use uh, in rest api uh, to check the items version uh, before uh, you perform any kind of post operation like put merge delete or those kind of operation so what exactly it will do is it will uh, check uh, the version so whatever uh, if you specify this tag basically uh, then you need to uh, uh, pass it in in if hyphen match this this tag in this http request header you have to send it now what it will do is it will uh, basically check the version that uh, is there and then uh, with, at the time of you are running the code so it will check that and if you will put uh, a star then what it will do is it will actually override uh, the item regarding regardless of the version so whether you do that or whether the version matches or not it will delete that so that is one thing the second thing is if you do not specify anything then it will take uh, add star so which will actually override uh, uh, the item regardless of the version and then uh, succeeded and failure so on on the success and failure method we are just displaying uh, the list over here now what i'll do is i will go to i will just copy this code here and uh, we will edit the same page here you can see here uh, i will remove the code a reason behind that is might be my d for uh, the button id is same else i have to change it so make sure the id if you have a button let's say uh, the id should be different in the page so it should not be same now i'll save this now what is the list name that we are going to give we'll give this same test list uh, uh, from rest api so i'll give the same name you can see here and then i'll click on submit you can see here once i click on submit it is saying list successfully deleted now i'll refresh this it will say that oh this is not exist this and if i will actually go to the site content page i will not find this list you can see here this list is not there now so you will not find this so this is how we can do the uh, delete and create list operation you can see here I will send this code or I'll put this code in. I have a blog post on that, so I'll get this code over there. I'll put the link also in the video description. You can have a look at that. So I've written a complete blog post on the same as well. Now, if you like our videos, then kindly subscribe to our channel. You will get free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, the Power Platform, SPFX, Power BI, Power Apps, uh, Flow, all this. Azure videos you will get. So you will get a lot of uh, things, a lot of videos. And I try to put or I try to upload two videos in a week. So you will so you'll get that. And if you are interested for the training, check out the video description. You will get the link over there. So thank you and have a nice day.